Movie theaters have been hit hard during the COVID-19 pandemic, including the Belcourt Theater here in Nashville. News Channel 5's Emily Lection shows us how they are trying to make the best of this challenging situation while preparing for when the doors will reopen again. For almost 100 years, the Belcourt Theater has entertained Nashville movie buffs, but the silver screen has been dark since March leaving the nonprofit in a difficult financial position. We've had, though, finally to make de hard decisions to cut back some of our staff, which is a heartbreaker for all of us because we're a real family here. In an effort to keep the movie magic alive, executive director Stephanie Silverman says the Belcourt has been streaming films and offering classes and lectures online. We've just sort of tried to think of creative ways to keep sort of true to our mission, keep the work happening and keep connected to our community that we love so much. To start bringing people safely back to the theater, the plan was to fill this parking lot with cars for a drive-in movie tonight, but it was canceled due to the weather. Our staff was so excited to just like get back to work and to just get to watch a movie on a big screen. While plans are underway to host more drive-in movies, work is also being done inside the theater to prepare for the day when moviegoers return. Plexiglass has been installed, the air filtration system upgraded, and a new disinfecting machine purchased to clean the seats. But Stephanie says it may take time before people feel safe returning to movie theaters. I think it is going to take sort of um, a back and forth with patrons and theaters for patrons to build trust. Until that happens, Stephanie is grateful donations and memberships have helped keep the lights on. It's a pretty extraordinary moment and community support will, will truly make all the difference. And she looks forward to the day when members of the community can return and fill the seats at the Belcourt once again. In Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thank you. And we do want to let you know, drive-in movies are still scheduled at the Belcourt for tomorrow and Sunday. And tonight's movie has been rescheduled for next Thursday.